Oh, they were so, so close. close. So close. So, so close. close. A heartbreaking yeah. last second loss for the Aztecs. Now they're going to have to wait. Should get an invitation to the big dance, but it's not guaranteed. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Kirsten Holmes. Let's get right to Jake and John for highlights and reaction from Las Vegas. Yeah, heartbreaking is right, you two. Last night, the Aztecs advanced to the Mountain West Tournament Championship game for the fifth consecutive year. They're the first team ever to do that. It was also a record 14th time in league history that SDSU went to the championship matchup. Meanwhile, on the other end of the spectrum, this was the first ever appearance for Boise State in the conference tournament title game. With that being said, the Aztecs did drop both of the earlier meetings against Boise State during the regular season. To Las Vegas, Nevada we go. The Broncos, the number one seed in the tournament, and it wasn't a slow start to this game. Trey Polium can't get the floater to go here, but the ball finds the lap of Nathan Mensa, and he cashes in on the second chance points with the monster slam. The Broncos had a long ball working right from the jump. Tyson Dagenhart buries the three-pointer. That gives Boise State an early four-point lead. But San Diego State was working on the offensive glass. Joshua Tamayich can't get the layup to go. Look at a Gueco rope with the nasty putback flush over two Broncos defenders. Ground control to Major Tom. That is a big man flying high. Check out those replays. Boise State would take a three-point lead into the locker room. Lamont Butler gets the second half started with the bang for the Scarlet and Black. He gets fouled on his way to the rack and still gets the circus shot to fall. That is my definition of beauty and grace right there. Later in the half, Boise State leads by one. Laden Armish gets the rock down low. He fights through the traffic and gets the bucket plus the foul. That gives the Broncos a four-point lead. Now we go right to the end. Absolute chaos ensues. Matt Bradley trying to get it to go. Can't. Now here comes Trey Pulliam with the floater as time winds down. Nothing falls for the Aztecs. Boise State wins by one, and what Steve said was a heartbreaker as it was. You can see the Aztec players there. A very, very tough loss for San Diego State. Hopefully they still do get that at-large bid. <clears throat> to the NCAA tournament. It is time now. Let's bring in John Howard, who is live in Las Vegas. John, a tough one there, my friend. How you doing? Well, unfortunately, I'm at the wrong party. It's the <laughs> other team that's celebrating, and we can't show you the stuff going on because it's being aired on uh, CBS Sports Network. But I will tell you, a heartbreaking loss, like you said, Jake. And to lose by one and only be shooting 35%, Tough break. The Aztecs missed five free throws, so perhaps that's the difference in the game. One of the standouts, I thought, in this game, and one of the encouraging things, was Lamont Butler, who's been quiet of late, but it was almost like he was in a scoring competition with Matt Bradley. Boy, Lamont Butler came out strong, driving strong to the hole, did his three-point shots, finishing with 16 points on the day. But all in all, a disappointing night as the Aztecs were looking to win back-to-back -back conference tournament championships. They come up short. And Jake, as you know, of course, the great silver lining in all of this, they can forget about this when they wake up tomorrow morning because they will find out where they're going in the NCAA tournament. They will absolutely get an at-large berth. It's just a matter of where they will be seated, eight, nine, somewhere in there, find out where they're playing and who they're playing sometime tomorrow. But a heartbreaking loss here as the Boise State Broncos are celebrating I don't know when the last time they won the conference tournament here, but it's been a while because the Aztecs have dominated. Jake? Yeah, they've never won it, John. That was their first appearance there, so good for them, I guess. But hey, you got to think about this. The Aztecs played really, really well. This was a great basketball game. I think they still got to be feeling good about going into the NCAA tournament, which I feel very strongly that they will get into with an at-large bid. Yeah. You know, one thing I will say, great game. Le le biggest lead of the night was just six points. I mean, this thing was a cat fight going back and forth and 13 lead changes. So those that watched the game, those that saw the game here, it was back and forth all game long. And it was one of those where it was going to come down to the final possession. The Aztecs just couldn't get that shot in the bucket. Yeah. All right. Great work out there, John. We'll catch up with you at six. I know you're disappointed, but the great news is the season is most likely not over for our Aztecs. So look forward to watching them play here, and we'll find out where they go Sunday. Thank you very much, Jake.
Okay, you two. So take a deep <laughs> breath. I had to take a deep breath. I was running around upstairs trying yeah. to get down here in time. A heartbreaker, like oh, you guys said, yeah. but I have strong faith they'll be in the NCAA tournament. I don't think this season is over by any means. Now, the good news is there have not been a lot of what we call bid stealers, teams yeah. that will knock other teams out. We haven't seen a lot of that so far. Keep our fingers crossed, so it should. We, I think the Aztecs are, are in. Well, but you don't know, right? You don't know until tomorrow. You, you never know, but I do think the Mountain West may get four teams wow. in this tournament. So we will see, and I think the Aztecs will be safe. But hey, we'll just wait and see. We'll just wait and see. Keeping Great tournament. Our fingers crossed too. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Thank you for that, Jake.